In this video, I'm going to take you through some of the key differences and similarities between the equity method of accounting and consolidations. Now, for an understanding of the basics of equity accounting, it's best if you go back to the unit overview video for a discussion of the basics. Now, from that video, which you may have already seen, you might remember that we're looking at an investor and their interest in the other entity is either a joint venture or an associate. Now, whether it's either a joint venture or an, as an associate, we're pushed into IAS 28 to apply the equity method of accounting. And under this method of accounting, we're accounting for our share of the joint venture or the associate. So some assumptions in this video to explain the similarities and differences between equity and consoles. Firstly, let's assume that the investor is also a parent in a consolidated group. So they're already preparing consolidated financial statements because they own a number of subsidiaries. Plus, they also have an investment in an associate, so they're applying the equity method, or it's an investment in a joint venture, and also that means the equity method. So I want you to assume that we're consolidating. So if we're consolidating, this means that our equity accounting journal entries are going to be recorded at the time when we're doing the consolidation. So that means the equity accounting entries are going to be notional journal entries, just like the consolidation journal entries. So yes, those equity accounting entries are notional entries. They're not affecting the general ledger, so therefore they don't carry forward from year to year. With equity accounting, just like in consoles, we have to make acquisition date fair value adjustments. We have to consider them, so there might be ongoing impacts with fair value adjustments. Also, we have to eliminate unrealised profits, whether they're from the associate going up to the investor or from the investor going down. And as soon as we start changing profits, we have to think about tax effect adjustments. And dividends as well. Dividends paid by the joint venture or the associate has to be eliminated. So let's now look at some differences because we've just seen some similarities. So with consolidations, we have the trial balance of both the parent and the subsidiary at the reporting date. Whereas in equity accounting, we're only using the trial balance of the investor. And we have certain information from the associate or joint venture. So we're going to be using that in information to make the journal entries, but it really is only just the trial balance of the investor. Under consoles, the goodwill of the subsidiary that's been acquired in the business combination is recognised separately in the consolidated financial statements as an asset. In the equity method, any goodwill in the associate or joint venture is included within the investment costs that we've paid, but we don't disclose it separately as an asset. The owner in consoles is called a parent. The owner in equity account is called the investor. The acquired entity is called a sub when we're consolidating, and the acquired entity when we're doing equity accounting is either called an associate or a joint venture. Okay, some more differences. When we have consoles, the parent's investment asset in the sub has to be eliminated. Whereas when we're equity accounting, we're starting with the investor's investment asset in the associate or the joint venture, but we don't eliminate. What we're going to do is to be adding on to that investment cost with our equity accounting entries. When we're doing consoles, our consolidation journal entries are made to many different accounts across the entire sort of set of financial statements. So it might be P&L entries, we might have assets and liabilities with inter-entity loans, um, sales and purchases, all that type of thing. So lots of entries throughout the entire financial statements. Whereas when we're doing equity accounting entries, most of them are made to the investment in associate or joint venture account, which is an asset account. 
and then the other side to the journal entry is usually it's to the equity section in our statement of financial position. So it's things like the share of associates profit for the year or share of opening retained earnings, share of a post acquisition surplus account, that type of thing. In consoles, if the parent doesn't 100% own the sub, then we have to recognise that there's a non-controlling interest. So in an 80% owned sub, we'd have a 20% non-controlling interest. Whereas with equity accounting, we only ever journalise our share of the associate or joint venture. So if we have a 40% interest, our entries are being made for that 40% share. So they're the key differences between consolidations and the equity method of accounting.